I want you to see that the message of the cross, the simple message of Jesus Christ and him crucified, can only be contrasted with human wisdom. And it can't be compared to human wisdom because the message of the cross is the farthest thing from human wisdom you can imagine. We did this last week. We talked about it. No man, mankind would not come up with the plan that God delivered to us for our salvation, that period. We just wouldn't do it. Jesus Christ and him crucified is the very power of God unto salvation. It's been designed by God, delivered to us by God, and it's for the salvation of all who will receive it by faith. It's not just, it's not even. It's not another philosophical idea. It's not a religious approach. It is a divine, mysterious, miraculous plan of God. Here's the miracle of God's divine plan of salvation. Because of what God has done through our faith, Jesus Christ lives in us. We have the life of Christ in us, specifically in the person of the Holy Spirit. And because of that life in us, we have all that God offers us. All that God offers us is ours in Christ. And that in Christ is that identification of Christ's life being our life, of us being so identified with Christ that what he's done, we've done, and what he has, we have. Guys, the Bible is so clear that when we truly receive Christ as Lord and Savior, the life and power of God himself and the person of the Holy Spirit takes up up residence in our lives. We have the power of the creator God living inside of us. How can you mix human wisdom with that? How can you mix the world's wisdom with that? You can't. You can't, there's nothing that can compare to the life and power of God living inside of you. It's without compare. And so we are committed to building our house of faith, you might say, not on the shifting sands of human wisdom, but on the rock, the solid rock foundation of the life of Christ living in us. No matter how much man's wisdom changes, the plan of God remains the same. So you build your life on the shifting sands of man's wisdom or you found it on the immovable rock of Jesus Christ and him crucified. It's as simple as that. And if you will, found your life, build your life on that immovable rock of Jesus Christ, you won't be moved by the world's wisdom.